Hey you guys, I'm Molly with Design Loves Detail. Welcome to our channel where we share the best deals and tips for your home. Today I'm gonna to be talking about console styling. This was really requested, so I look forward to sharing some tips with you. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of our next videos when those go live. First up, I'm sharing the setup that I currently have in my entry. And one of the things that I love to do with console table styling, if you have the option, um, with outlets and stuff to do lamps. This gives a lot of balance and kind of just symmetry to the whole look. And I feel like also kind of just an upscale, sophisticated style. So these are really cool. These are actually from, I got these at Walmart um, online and they are made of alabaster. So using a statement lamp that has a lot of um, unique detail to it can be a great place to kind of put your emphasis and maybe uh, spend a little bit more. Places that I love to save are artwork. Um, for instance, these that I framed here, uh, I just bought frames that come with mats, and then the inside of these is actually um, a poster print that is really affordable, and I just cut it down to fit in there. So it kind of is an abstract and just gives a little bit of color. Um, these frames are great with family photos as well. I love to use something that's a backdrop um, like this, either artwork or a mirror, something that kind of sets the tone. And most of the time you will have a wall. It's kind of unique here that we have a railing. This is just kind of how our entry is set up. Um, and I still like to have a backdrop even with that. Typically with a wall, you can mount the mirror or your artwork there. And it's a nice, it gives kind of a layered look, which I think is really important with styling a console table. Um, kind of, you have the whatever furniture piece you use to ground it, and then that just kind of um, gives a more finished look having any type of backdrop. So I will share some more favorites there. Um, this bowl is from the new um, Studio McGee collection with Target, and I love it. It's a really affordable piece, and you can do something like this with the cute wooden beads inside. Just give a little interest and kind of texture as well. So that's a fun piece. I brought in a bone box here, stacking a couple of coffee table books. I use books all the time for styling. I feel like they're one of the most important styling elements there is. And um, I get mine usually really affordably from TJ Maxx online, so I will link a few options for you there. And they're also, I try to get ones that I really enjoy reading and looking at. Um, so most of mine are kind of design based and, and whatever you know you may be interested in, there's probably beautiful books that coordinate with that as, as well. So um, stacking a couple books with this bone box on top. Um, it's nice to have something like this in your entryway. You can um, actually store like your keys or things like that um, that you might want to have handy for grabbing when you go out the door. Um, wallet, whatever, just kind of, um, you know, people are going to be like checking bone boxes to steal wallets. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> but anyway, it's a great um, option for having a little bit of storage that's still pretty. And um, this piece too, you'll notice, is actually kind of a dresser style, but I've loved it as an entry piece for the storage element. Um, both console tables and, um, and dresser pieces can be really good for an entry space like this or wherever you may have like an open wall. Uh, it's, it's nice to definitely have the extra storage um, here. So uh, greenery, I love bringing in a little bit of greenery, especially this time of year. Um, I kind of can switch this out seasonally. Right now I've got these olive branches and this marble vase is another kind of way to bring in an element that has some natural feel to it similar to the alabaster lamps. So there's that setup, and I'm gonna share a couple more that are different, but give you some different options to go with your style. So here's another option. This is a little more neutral, and I did keep still the balance of the two lamps. Like I said, I love that setup. I'm gonna show you in just a second another uh, variation of this that's a little more asymmetrical. Uh, I did do some elements that are a little bit um, asymmetrical here, which is you know this plant and this uh, photo that I layered over the main artwork, that kind of gives some um, balance, but they are different. So it's not exactly perfectly symmetrical. Gives it a little bit of interest. I kept the bone box here, um, just one of my favorite staple pieces. And then this artwork is um, different than the other two, of course, that we had earlier. This is going to have some texture and interest, but still keeping a really um, subtle neutral palette, which I love. So these lamps are another Walmart find. They have that high-end look like the Pottery Barn ones. Um, kind of looks like they are, uh, what do I want to say, like an urn base kind of, but they have a way better price tag than the Pottery Barn ones. So 
I will link those for you guys. And then um, I'm gonna show you how we can switch this out as well to just give a slightly different look. So here's kind of the different version of that first, or that most recent one I showed you. This one, I kept one lamp and then switched out um, the other side for this pretty pot and just put some faux greenery inside. Um, this is another Target one, that's a great deal. And then I brought in these stack poles that I love, that are so affordable, and put um, the bone beads in there, kind of ties in with the bone box, and then um, another just little way to give texture. So you don't always have to have things perfectly symmetrical, you just kind of want to look for uh, similar heights to have a sense of balance. And also a focal point is a good thing to be thinking about. In this case, we have the artwork as kind of a focal point here, layered against the larger textured art. And then your eye kind of moves through, and you can kind of see how it follows these things to kind of bring it back to that center point. So here's the last setup. I went a little bit more of a relaxed feel with this, um, doing the table instead of the chest that we normally have here. I actually brought this up from downstairs in our family room. We have it. Um, down there and I love this setup. What's really cool is that when you have an open table like this, uh, you can tuck any little stools or ottomans under there like this to pull out for extra seating and they add a, a nice style, detail, and some texture here um, as well as being really functional. I did one of my favorite lamps, these white ones are actually my favorite white lamps ever because they just go with any style of decor you have and they're a nice um, substantial size. So love that. And then um, books again with this cute concrete bowl and stone beads to add some more interest and texture and just a little bit of that layering effect. The mirror is also a great addition to have um, if you have a console table, especially in your entryway. Uh, it lets you, you know, you can check your face and your hair on your way to answer the door. <laughs> Make sure you don't have any food on there when the FedEx guy comes. Um, so <laughs> anyways, good jokes. Um, this pot is from the Studio McGee collection and it is another really pretty one. I love these greens too. They're $4.99 to stem at Target. Um, I'll link all this stuff for you guys. Uh, it gives a nice little bit of movement, I feel like, with them being a draping green. So a good way to finish off this look. And yeah, so hopefully these steps will kind of help you as you're styling your own tables and get a few different ideas for how to do that. Thanks for tuning in for the console table styling tips today. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of our next YouTube video when it's live. And also be sure to check out my Instagram stories where I share daily deals and finds for your home. We'll see you next time.